kick live streaming. All right, I'm trying to watch on my smart TV. Click enter. Doesn't matter if you have a Roku or a Fire or whatever smart TV you have. And I'm getting this error. Channel error 91 FO 5B 7 E 1 8. Sorry, this channel is temporarily unavailable. This may be because of a slow internet connection. Please check the channel owner for more information. All right, so I want to show you how to fix this regardless of what brand of smart TV you have. What we're going to do is go, go ahead and go to home. And what I want you to do is check your internet connection. But if you're getting, if you're using Wi-Fi on your smart TV and you have the ability to do it directly to the Ethernet, which of course the Ethernet cord goes from the wall all the way direct, instead of doing the Wi-Fi box down here, you're going directly through the Ethernet and then see if that will work. A lot of times that is the issue. But you just might need to restart your TV. So in order to do that, only thing you do, you go to home, click on the home button, and then you're going to go to settings. And most smart TVs, it's that little star thing. We're going to click it and go to settings, regardless of what TV that you're on. And then we're going to go to the right. And then what we're going to do is we'll go all the way down to system. And then from there, we're going to go to power. And then what we're going to do is we're going to system restart. On the Fire TV, it's pretty similar. You just go to settings or any smart TV for that matter. Click on restart. That takes about three minutes. And then see, uh, go back to the kick. Uh, network and then see if you're able to get it. If for whatever reason that doesn't work, just simply unplug the TV from the wall or just take the power cord off of the back of the TV. Let it sit for a good five minutes, plug it back in, and that will usually fix your issue not getting being able to get on to kick. If you have it, um, if you've just reinstalled it, you're not going to have to do this, but if you've had kick for a while and you've You've been able to use it before. Go ahead and go to the app, to the Kick app. Let's find it here. Da, 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 da. There it is. And what I want you to do is click the star button while you're on the Kick. And then what I want you to do is to check for updates. And a lot of times, that will fix the issue. Restart the smart TV and then see if that will fix the issue. If that does not, actually remove the app, the Kick live streaming app. Restart the TV and then reinstall it. Go back, go to home, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings and then you're going to type in Kick, or rather you're going to go to search. You're going to type in Kick. You want to reinstall it, and then you want to see if that will work. A lot of times that will work. All right, if that doesn't work on your smart TV, go back to home. And what I want you to do is go to settings. And then from there, what I want you to do is go all the way down to system. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go do a software update on your TV. And that will work the same with a Fire TV, a Roku TV, whatever smart TV that you have. Do a software update, restart, and then see if that will work. Uh, and that usually one of those things will work. If one of those doesn't work, there might be just an issue with Kick. Keep in mind, it is a relatively new app from 2023. It is possible that they're just down or there's too many people on the server. Give it about an hour and then see if you're able to get back on it. All right, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section which method worked for you. I'm pretty confident one of these will. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.